Peter Charles here of Hooked for Life Fly Fishing. And today we're going to start a new series on getting started in fly fishing. Now I've had a uh, request in the past for something along these lines and I thought, you know what, you know, COVID-19, when nobody's fishing right now, it's winter. So we might as well get started on this series and carry it through December into January. I think it might be of interest to some people. And we'll cover uh, a variety of subjects, including uh, some of the basics uh, behind fly fishing and some of the subjects that we might not necessarily run across but are very helpful to know. So on this initial uh, episode, I thought, let's deal with why somebody would want to fly fish because it's not the easiest method and it's not the most efficient method. I mean, if I wanted to put food on the table, I'd be using worms or hand grenades. I, I wouldn't be using a fly rod. It's not about the numbers. It's never been about the numbers. So what is it? Why, why the appeal? Why do so many people want to do it if it's difficult and not very effective? Well, first off, there's the challenge behind fly fishing. I mean, it is challenging to catch a fish on a fly, especially a dry fly. Uh, it's also a situation where we've always got to learn. There, you never stop learning in fly fishing. Uh, you know, I, I've been fishing for years and years and years, and I still learn stuff. I, I haven't yet stopped learning, and I don't think I ever will. So it, that appeals to some people. I know it appeals to me, and I like the challenge. Uh, the fish I remember catching are not the biggest ones. It's the ones that presented the most challenge. Uh, and those are the fun ones, and those are the ones that are stuck in my brain. For other people, it's about catching fish, beautiful fish, in beautiful pla faces, places. I mean, some of the fish we catch on flies are just in magnificent areas of the world. And to go there and to catch a fish on a fly, especially a fly that you've tied, uh, in one of those places, that is something else. I mean, once you've done it once, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, also, there's this aspect, and this, this related, is the idea that you're out there by yourself in nature. Fly fishing is a solitary sport. You're not standing next to somebody while you fly fish. You know, you need space. Uh, and often you're on a creek or a river all by yourself. And that's a beautiful experience. Uh, you know, animals relate to you different when you're in the water. I mean, I've had a mink come up so close to me I could have reached down and patted it on the head. They just wanted to check out what I was doing. I've had raccoons, you know, walk right behind me and sort of paddle around in the water looking for crayfish. And they're looking at me like, you know, well, hi, guy, how are you doing? I've had deer and a, do a doe and a fawn just literally walk right behind me. They didn't care. They just, they, I was in the river. I was not a threat. I wasn't a problem. You know, I, I've had loons swim right up to me, and loons are a very skittish bird. So if, if you like that whole nature aspect of it, the being out in the wild and, you know, immersing yourself in nature, fly fishing gives you that opportunity. Uh, also, the other thing to keep about fly fishing is not just about catching trout. I mean, we associate fly fishing with trout. But the reality is I've ca caught something like 25 different species on flies. You know, my carp. Suckers, mind you, the suckers were accidental, but I've caught suckers. Uh, pike, largemouth bass, smallmouth bass, um, you know, saltwater species, uh, you know, you name it, panfish. All sorts of different species can be caught on a fly. Let's face it, if, if a fish takes an insect or takes a bait fish, you can catch them on a fly rod. It's a, that simple. And so, you know, you're not limited just to trout. And you're not limited also to the surface as well. A lot of people think fly fishing is just about surface fishing. But I've caught smallmouth bass in Lake Erie as uh, deep as 25 feet. So you can get quite far down if you have to with a fly rod. It's all about the equipment you're using. So fly fishing really uh, offers a lot of enjoyment. And that's what it's about. It's about having fun on the water. And you can have a lot of fun with a fly rod. And when you catch your first fish on a fly, especially a fly that you've caught tied yourself, that's a special experience. So if you're thinking about uh, getting into fly fishing, stay tuned uh, to this playlist because there's going to be lots of information for you. Cheers.